Fleurette is a French brand of motorhomes, now part of the Rapido group. This is the Magister van. It is uh, rather elegant, as you'll see. 75,000 euros you're looking at for something like this. 697 centimeters in length, 234 with 275 in external height. I'll put my bag down here, as, oops, as I'm walking around. Put the gimbal came into view, sorry, I'll, uh, I'll continue anyway. Right, so, side bed up here. Looks very elegant. Uh, I think it looks extremely elegant, this actually. I think it looks far more elegant than the uh, Rapido vans do. And uh, at a cost not much greater than what they have. Coming in here. Right, side bed is particularly useful if you uh, uh, perhaps if you're a little bit more physically challenged, so it's uh, easy to get in and out of, but it does mean you're having to crawl over the other person you're with, if you're with somebody. Uh, if you don't want to crawl over, then you've got a queen bed, might be the solution. Uh, on the downside, the queen bed doesn't offer as much storage space as the widthwise bed, but 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 the side bed offers even less. In fact, I've yet to see a side bed where you could get a bicycle into the garage. Oh, I like that even. You've got this other bit up here. Oh, look, I keep that in there as well. There's two of us who use that. Okay, this is the same as everyone else is doing. Uh, it's um, um, set for nothing. And uh, you got a bit of storage up. That's how you store it, which you want. Space for uh, doing your um, preparation. You've got a dramatic sink, nothing unusual about that either. A big bin. Well, the bin there, it, because of the shape of it, it does mean that you, uh, you're you losing a bit of space. Extractor fan. Television. Come back to the other side of the bed. Um, wardrobe up here. Uh, it's not particularly big, but then you can't really expect too much. Uh, up here, you've got a divider. You see that? Comes down there. Can I get it off? Comes across like that. And I noticed there's a magnet there, but is there a magnet on the other side? Yes, there is. That's good. So that comes across like that. But as the toilet is here, I prefer these accordion things, but it, as the toilet's here, to be quite honest, with this up, you're going to have to be a bit of a contortionist to uh, get past that. So I'd have to say that that's a complete waste of time. Um, now, why would you put it up? Because there's a bed up front. You might have missed the bed that's up front. But, you know, I like, sometimes I like privacy screens, but I mean, that, that, that really doesn't have any sense whatsoever. Because let's say if there's a bed up here, right, and uh, whoever's sleeping up here needs to get into the toilet at night, then uh, they'll also have to be a bit of a contortionist to get past that. So I think that, that thing is a complete waste of time. Uh, let's have a look in here. Fat fridge. Right, I'll just tell you a funny story. Um, I was just on another van uh, doing it, nothing to do with uh, this company, or even, even, even looking like this. Anyway, so I went, I went, as I do sometimes, I'll go in and film. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, so I'll go in and um, film uh, things again. So I, I, you know, so I'll do this one like five or six minutes or whatever, seven minutes. Then I'll just show you around the rest of the stands on the uh, vans on the stand. Anyway, so I'll go into the van. Now bear in mind that there should be no, we expect there to be no water in the uh, the bathrooms or in the in anything, and the toilets should not be. Uh, prepared for use anyway so there's this lady on the stand who hadn't, wasn't particularly nice to me anyway uh, she sort of sort of grunted when I said can I uh, can I film here <clears throat> and uh, anyway so I go in, into the van for the third time because there was three vans on the stand and uh, she's in there 
in, in, in the toilet. Anyway, no, she was fully dressed, I might point out, but uh, I wonder if, uh, had I arrived a bit earlier, what the situation might have been anyway. So she didn't grunt at me, she just stared at me in, with a vicious manner. And uh, that was the end of that one. Anyway, um, I don't think it came out on the screen. I don't think on 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 the uh, on the video. Uh, having said that, if anything did come out in the video, I would have I would censor it. So uh, yeah, no, don't believe in censorship, but uh, the, uh, I will respect I will respect privacy. Which reminds me of the time when somebody um, who was it? No, oh, be careful what I say. Uh, I, I was filming. Okay, that'll do. Uh, I, I was filming, and uh, I filmed him with uh, some lady he wasn't married to. And he asked me, he told me he wasn't married to, and he asked me to take it off. And uh, whereas I've got rather, uh, on some things, I've got rather, say, traditional values. I mean, if you're married to somebody, that's it. You don't, if you're, even if you're with somebody, so you don't have to be married. If you're with somebody, you don't go around seeking alternative uh, choices whilst you're in a relationship. That's, and that's my opinion. If you want to end the relationship, if you do want to meet someone else, then you have to end the relationship and then you can do it. But you don't seek alternatives. Anyway, that apart, um... He asked me to take it out, and he told me where. He was really taking a risk. If any are on that situation, don't tell the person who did the film where to take it out. Anyway, he was lucky with me because I, uh, um, I did, I, I did what he asked for, and uh, so that saved him. Uh, right. So uh, I, I'm gonna now go and have a look in a couple more va vans. I'm leaving my bag in here. Whilst doing this, um, I believe uh, I filmed this in other times. Florian Baxter, six meter van, cost 65,000 euros. Hasn't got the daft overhead uh, bed. Uh, well, daft, you might need it. I mean, it doesn't get in your way, it's not, it's not a problem. There you are. Looks as though somebody's been using this toilet as well. Yeah, I'll close that. Can't stand seeing toilets open. Right, and, uh, let's have a... Yeah, nice. I'll show you the other one as well. Winchester. No, sorry. Winchester. Winchester. I've... I've filmed this before and said Winchester, it's not, it's Winchester. Winchester costs oh, 94,000 euros. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's a, uh, what do you call it? A uh, integrated van, bed up the top. I like the way they have a lovely shape. I mean, Death Left does as well some, some wonderful shapes and the way the light falls onto it. That looks pretty good. I'll let this uh, play out, okay? That's it. I mean, it's not like in Dusseldorf where they sort of. Uh, go through huge amounts of stuff that will be sufficient for them here got storage down here you got steps up there i don't wouldn't want this layout for myself but you know then again i don't really need them all at all nice nice looking if they said to me I have any van, I suppose, of, of what they've got, this is probably the most suitable for me. Only, and it's only because of the storage. I'd rather have uh, the side bed's not really suitable. Oh, there's another announcement. What's this? It's probably for me. Hello, <laughs> Stemma. Right, so I hope you found that of interest. All oh, the public's already in here. And, uh, good. So, uh, if you found that interest, please do subscribe. And, yeah, I just fit, I, you know, I normally stand outside the van when I do the end, but I think I'll go inside this one. This one here looks quite nice. Uh, one of the advantages of standing outside is because it sort of gives you this as an option. Whoops, just turn the lights off. It uh, gives you this as an option uh, for, for, for your screen on YouTube. Right.
Oh, well, so I'll finish off here, looking down this colour scheme. Of course, it wouldn't be in this colour scheme very long, particularly after the dog would be in it. But uh, me and the dog together would, would sort that one out. But uh, thanks for watching. If you get any benefit, do do, do consider uh, giving some support on Patreon. And subscribe if you haven't done so. All the best from Stuttgart.